Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about sleep. If there's anything I really truly love in life, it's sleep. And toddlers need sleep, especially toddlers who are behind developmentally, like a child with a speech language delay, which is what I work with on the daily. And let me tell you, I've talked about before that nutrition is really important, but I really haven't talked about sleep and how important that is for your toddler. Why is it so important? Your child's brain is growing and developing at a rapid pace. You probably already know this for toddlers, but for some reason, a child with a speech and language delay, that particular area of the brain, there's a section of the brain for speech and language, is not growing and developing quite like the other parts of the brain. It is growing, but not quite as fast as expected, right? It's not making those connections that other typically developing brains are. Now, that just this does not mean that your child is lacking in intelligence. No, it just means that the learning in this area is not happening like it should. And sleep is key for learning. When your child, when a, when a human sleeps, okay, we'll talk about it in that way, when a human sleeps, including yourself, and you hit that REM cycle in sleep, that's the deepest cycle of sleep, that is where your brain is organizing information. It's putting the information that it's learned, the new stuff into areas to store them and combine them with other information to make sense of it and use it to have a better, more productive life in the next day, right? Okay, including just like memories and emotions and all of those things, but also new words, right? Understanding new words and how to create those new words for speech. And if your child's not getting that deep sleep, not getting enough sleep, not getting the quality of sleep, then your child's brain is not able to organize that new information, including information for speech, like I said, like other brains are able to. So if you find that your child, wow, is really lacking in sleep, I really do suggest that you talk to your doctor about the best ways to um, attack this issue, right? Address this issue. But um, just thinking off the top of my head uh, for other families that have been going through this and they've talked to their doctors, they've looked into things like a small dosage, a child size dosage of melatonin, which is a natural sleep aid and is non-habit forming. Even I take melatonin sometimes when I have trouble sleeping. Um, but there's certain foods that you could feed your child um, that have um, properties in them to promote good sleep. And so I'll put a link below to some recommendations for sleep, like how much sleep a child should get for their age, including their nap times, and what kind of healthy food choices you can choose to help your child increase their sleep, and just as much information as I can. But I just wanted to address this issue. It is important. It's really hard as a speech therapist to be coming in day after day and do all this amazing speech therapy and knowing that this child is not sleeping well, one, they're super cranky and not even ready to really learn because they're feeling so poorly. And two, they're not gonna sleep well that night either and they're not gonna be able to store that information. It's really hard to move forward with that. So do everything in your power to help your child um, get some better sleep. Um, I'm thinking of one family in particular that this made a huge difference in. I was doing therapy for weeks with this child, making no progress. The child had an actual sleep disorder and mom was really hesitant to try the melatonin. She was worried, even though it is a natural sleep aid. Um, by some miracle, she decided to try it and that child had a great night sleep before I came. The child was like a different child. It was amazing, like he was focused. He was looking me in the eye and he was ready to learn. And we had a fantastic session and he really started making progress after that. So please, you know, see your doctor and see what you can do for your child and be open to uh, looking to creative nutrition ways as well. Okay, I'll put those links below. But hey, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide for what to do with your child, activities and techniques and real life examples with real children, then I have the thing for you. It's an online course that I have poured my heart into. Many parents and therapists have tried this and have found great success with it. If you're in San Diego, look up my company. You could work with me or one of the therapists that I oversee in San Diego. Uh, if you're in California, then let's set up a phone consultation. I'd love to help you out. There's a link below for that too. Otherwise, guys, subscribe because I'm going to be making more and more videos, vlogging about ways to make your life better with the lovely, sweet, speechily child that's in your life. Okay? Happy talking with your little talkers. See you next time.